Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications, and like, comment, and share. So, I am using, these are like rungs from a wooden chair that we no longer needed the top off of. It was kind of broken. I'm actually using the bottom of the chair as a plant holder, so I can't throw anything away. So I thought I would save these little rungs for a project. Now, I showed you in a prior video, this is what my husband got me for Christmas. I absolutely love it. It's a mini table saw and that, what you see me doing right there is sanding down the edges. So using some scrap wood I had from a home improvement project and antique wax from Waverly. I'm just going to use a baby wipe and I'm going to put some of this wax on the scrap piece of wood. Um, you can always substitute if you don't have scrap wood, of course. Dollar Tree has a whole bunch of wood pieces or you could also use Django blocks making them as thick or as fat as you want. So I'm just using that baby wipe. I'm gonna give this one coat of that antique wax. The spindles I took off the chair were already white, so I didn't need to paint them. So I just took a little sanding disc and I sanded them down so that you could see some of that natural wood coming down. Not everybody took apart a chair, I understand, but wooden dowels work just as well. You would just need to paint them and sand them down. So these galvanized little hearts from Dollar Tree, how cute are these? Um, I thought, originally you saw four spindles. I thought there were four hearts in here, but there's only three. So I had to change it up a little bit, and I'm only going to be doing three of those spindles. Now taking these galvanized hearts and some super fun colors I thought would work well with Valentine's, a rich red, a regular red, a pink and a tealish blue, and white, of course. I am just going to draw lines on these galvanized hearts, rotating colors. So here I was being all specific and counting out my lines, and I didn't need to do that because just slap some lines on the hearts. I think when you don't plan things out, it works out a lot better sometimes. Not all the time, but just roll with it. And then I just kept taking the paintbrush, it was kind of a skinnier flat paintbrush, dipping it in the colors and making sure that I didn't have two of the same color next to each other. Now it started looking Americana here with red, white, and blue. So that's where that pink comes in. I did a little bit chunkier on the pink to so this didn't look like a 4th of July decor piece instead of a Valentine's. It's looking super cute. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it already. But here is the game changer. This distressing ink that you can get. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. It is available on Amazon. It's brown and once you start rubbing the grooves in that galvanized heart, just start popping. And this really makes this more of a rustic country or primitive country piece. And you decide how much. I love to go around the edges, give that rusty look. And I love those rusty lines coming through that paint. Oh my goodness, super cute. So now I'm going to take those rungs from my chair or you can use dowels too. I'm going to hot glue them down. Um, I'm also going to reinforce it, putting hot glue going all the way across and then taking some painter's tape just to really reinforce this because we all know hot glue and metal sometimes don't get along. And to cover up that painter's tape, I'm just going to cut off a scrap piece of buffalo check ribbon and I'm going to hide that painter's tape by gluing that ribbon over it. Also add that adds more reinforcement to hold those stars or stars <laughs> hearts on those dowels. Now I could not find my drill bits. So here you would probably want to drill holes and put hot glue in the holes and put your dowels down in the holes. For video making purposes, right now I'm just using hot glue. It did work. <laughs> 
um just like maybe putting these away and getting them out the following year hopefully it would still be together that's why you might want to drill some holes so I'm putting these close to each other because not only am I gluing them down to the wood, I'm also gluing them to each other, as you can see right here. And then I'm adding my third one and doing the, repeating the same process, gluing it down and also gluing the heart to the existing heart right next to it. I love, you guys know this, if you follow my channel, you know, probably the decor I love the most is rustic country or prim primitive country and that's why this video was so much fun for me to make. Now I grab some Spanish moss and I'm going to hot glue Spanish moss all around the bottom. I think this also, since I didn't drill holes, is going to help hold these rungs in place or dowels in place and you do as little as much or skip this step if you don't really care for Spanish moss, that's okay too. And here's the finished project. Oh my gosh, I am loving this. Project number two, we're going to have some fun with painting. This is just a standard wooden decorative bigger heart from Dollar Tree. And I am just going to have fun with painting. I'm going to use some painter's tape and I'm going to section off blocks on that heart. I'm using the same colors that I did. Um, for the last project. So I'm going to come in first with that really deep kind of burgundy red. And this section is going to be that deep red. Look how pretty that is. I removed the tape right away so I can not have any bleeding. It seems to work. I dried it off with my heat gun and now I'm reapplying the tape to section off another part of this heart. There's no rhyme or reason for my sectioning here. <laughs> I just eyeballed it and went with what I thought would look good. So the second block on this heart I did with that pretty pink color. Again, remove the tape, use my heat gun to dry it off, which I didn't show you because you guys know how to dry a project. <laughs> Took a brand new piece of tape and again, going in the center of the plain part of the heart that's left, I'm going to section off another piece. I do use the painter's tape to go on the lines where I've already painted. Now I'm going to come in with that brighter red so that you have contrast with the two reds. I did put those right next to each other. Look how cute that's looking already. Then I come back in again, brand new pieces of tape, but now I'm going to take the existing reds. So I'm going to take the bright red, I'm going to take the richer deep burgundy red, and that pink, and I'm going to mix those all together on my palette. I'm trying to get a deeper pink color for that last section, and that really worked out well. Look how much different that pink is from the light. So pretty, and that's what I used to paint the last section of my heart. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to come in with some burnt umber and I'm just going to kind of go along my lines that I already have. We want this to look rustic, primitive, whatever design, decor style you like to call it. So I'm kind of just taking that burnt umber, going along my lines, coming in with a baby wipe to kind of smooth it out and really make it rustic old looking <laughs> and that's all I do with those lines then I take a paintbrush and kind of dry brush some more of that burnt umber onto each section we want each of these sections to look like a separate section of wood that's what I'm going for here do you guys like what you see 
Are you ready to hit that subscribe button yet? <laughs> Go for it, it's free. So again, dry brushing each section. This is personal preference. Put as much or as little of that brown paint as you desire. Look at how cute, oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna come in with some ink. And this is the bottom of one of those sponge brushes. Um, and I'm just gonna take that stick, dip it in my ink to make circles. And I'm gonna do circles on the lines of each of these. Um, so I don't know if these would be rivets, wooden rivets. I'm not really sure what they're called, but this really starts making this come together as a wooden piece. I took my folk art in gold, and I'm kind of just highlighting around the edges of those rivets. Is that what they're called? Let me know in the comments. I know like what rivets are, but I don't know what wooden ones are called. <laughs> so hopefully I'm saying it right. But I'm just taking that gold paint and I'm highlighting around those edges just to really make them pop out more. And that's what it looks like after it's all been highlighted. I take the existing hanger and just pop that baby right back into those holes so that this piece can be hung on the wall. Now I grabbed different ribbon that I had on hand and Valentine's ribbon and just kind of put it all together, folded it in half and cut it. And I'm gonna just start hot gluing the strands up into the corner so that it would hang down. I could have hot glued this with it folded, but then it was really bulky and that's not the look I was trying to achieve. So I just did it individually by hot gluing each little piece of ribbon down until it was as thick and as cute as I liked. Then I just cut off the ends of those ribbons and I added a bow. And here's my finished heart. I absolutely love it. third project I'm going to be using wood shims and I'm going to make a candle grouping um, with hearts as the flames. I did one of these candles for Christmas and I absolutely loved it so I thought it would be fun to recreate one for Valentine's Day. Now I took the shims and I cut them down to different lengths because you don't want them all being the same length. <laughs> so here I'm just trimming them down. I did use my little miter cutter to cut them. Um, when it gets down to the thicker part, you kind of have to flip it over and cut the other side and then it just breaks apart pretty easily. Once I had those cut to the size I wanted. I used some sandpaper and sanded down the edges just so you don't get any splinters. Using Waverly and White, I came in and I painted all three of those pieces. And then um, I think I only did one coat because I wanted to stay in that primitive rustic country theme. And I like some of that natural wood showing through. Now I grabbed some Jenga blocks and I grab my wax again. And I'm gonna do the same thing with a baby wipe. I'm gonna put wax on each of those Jenga blocks and set those aside to dry. When those, once those are drying, I went and got these little stickers, the wooden stickers you could get from Valentine's Day. They're so cute. I grabbed three of the wooden hearts and I'm using that more deeper burgundy red to paint each of the hearts. Um, at first I was, <laughs> oh, don't forget to take the sticky off of the back too, because I should have done that on all three before I started painting and I forgot. I am painting the front and the back because just in case where you put this in your decor, you might be able to see it. And at first I love the edges being brown and I was trying to really be careful when painting. And then I thought, no, I can come back in with my Distress ink. So I have some wooden tags. And I'll have that link in the description below. I got these off of Amazon. Using just the paint I had left on my brush, 
I just painted that wooden tag with the rest of that red. Then I grabbed one of my wooden hearts and I painted that white. And one coat on everything, one coat's all I needed. Now, coming in with that Distress ink, which I absolutely love, I went around all of the edges of the hearts and that little heart that I painted white and the tacks. I'm just going around the edges just to make that really pop with that brown kind of old rustic look. And it really brings out what was originally on the heart because those hearts are so cute with that brown edge. And then once you paint it, you kind of lose it and the Distress Ink just brings it right back. Now I'm gonna assemble my, cam my candle <laughs> by just adding a line of hot glue on one side and gluing it to the tallest shim. I'm gonna do this on both of those candles. Once I had those pieces in place, I'm going to take those red hearts and I'm going to hot glue those to the top of each candle and that is going to be the flame for the candles. Just be really careful that you only put a little bit of hot glue on here so that you don't see glue coming through those gaps of the hearts. Taking some lace ribbon, I just put it around the back of it and I'm gonna hot glue it coming forward in kind of a crisscross. Um, I didn't wanna tie it on here because I didn't want the bulkiness of it being tied on, so I'm just kinda crisscrossing it where I would like it and hot gluing that down. Then I'm gonna take that wooden heart that I painted white and I'm gonna hot glue that to the tag. I am not gonna use string to hang this tag. I thought it would be cute if I just added some hot glue to each side and hot glued that down right onto each of those sticks. And then I just made a twine little bow and that is gonna hide the hole in the tag. And I hot glued that bow down. You can use E6000 or wood glue. I just used hot glue and I glued each of those Jenga pieces together, starting with two, gluing them to each other, gluing the other two, and then taking the two that are glued and gluing those together as well for your base. Hot glue seems to work perfect for these type of projects. I've never had a problem with it. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom of my candle and I'm gonna hot glue those down to the Jenga blocks. I also grabbed some wooden squares from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna hot glue that to the candle and to the base and that will make this piece a lot more secure. After I did that, it wasn't going anywhere. This is such an easy project. It's so affordable and it's so stinking cute. I absolutely love this little candle for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed this too. Look how stinking cute that is. Oh my goodness. If you guys like rustic or primitive country decor, please leave a comment down below. I would love to do more of these videos for you. And here's a look at the three projects that I did today. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Say hello to me in the comments below. And as always, guys, I hope you guys are having a blessed and most wonderful week. I'll see y'all next Tuesday. Love y'all. Bye.